what, what, what are we going to do next? Like, what's going on in the junk removal industry? What are we going to tip for everything? And I guess this is one of those things that when you go to a person's house, you deserve to get paid more. We, we all know that junk removal companies, we make good money and we have really great margins compared to retail, which retail usually have like five to 10% margins. In the junk removal industry, you know, I have really high margins. Of course, I run a different business than most people do. A lot of people live by the ads, live by the leads. Uh, they live by the leads and the ads and the SEO that they pay for and stuff. Unlike myself, I don't have to pay for any of that stuff. So I sa I'm saving already 35 to 30%, maybe 40% on anything. But, you know, when it comes to these tipping, I, you know, I just keep on hearing this on, and I, I look at the Facebook groups and I see somebody saying that, hey, they, we just got our new, you know, credit card machine. We're going to insert the, the tip tab and we're going to add that to our junk removal service. And I'm like, golly, dude, what, what are you, a restaurant? Is this a coffee shop? Are we doing donuts now? What, what's going on here? What are you, Dutch bros? Or, or I mean, now it just seems like tipping has got out of hand and in the this industry i'm just telling you guys we get paid good for what we do and now we're gonna beg for tips and stuff and is that what it's got to is is, is that how we're running our business you know and i look at it if a customer wants to tip they'll tip you and if they don't want to tip they won't tip I, and this is funny because my son and he's about 21 20 years old or something like that and he runs junk ice frisco in, in frisco texas <coughs> and he gets <coughs> he gets tipped about 95 percent of the time out of 10 customers nine of them will tip him i'm going to tell you why they see a young kid uh show up in his f-150 and he's uh, he looks young and he has that still baby face and well he's got a porn star mustache but other than that the people see him and say, man, he's doing a good job. I'm going to tip him. And that's why he gets a lot of tips. Unlike myself, I come in there with this attitude and I'm kind of cocky and, and they see me and they're like, I'm going to tip this guy and he's overcharging me anyway or whatever. But they don't tip me as much. So uh, out of 10 customers, I'll probably get like three of them to tip me and, and they tip me. I mean, today I got tipped three times, but there were refrigerators, right? They give me 45 bucks. I'm charging 45. They give me $50. So they give me $5 tip. Do I consider that a tip? No, a tip is like 20, 25 bucks, right? So that's what I'm thinking. Um, knowing when and how much to tip in your junk removal business, it can be pretty, you know, to tip a junk removal can be pretty confusing. Then again, regardless if, if they're tipping you, uh, you're, you're not a waiter, you know? And, and figure, figure, figuring out how much a customer is going to uh, tip you, it's kind of daunting, okay? It's, it's just a daunting thing. I mean, um, I guess a customer, when it comes to the question if they're going to tip you or not, uh, the answer is yes and no. I just think putting up the tip in front of the customer and putting them on front street it's kind of messed up. It's kind of fucked up, right? I mean, you're like practically begging for a tip. And I'm thinking the people that ask for this, and, and honestly, the people that ask for this is just out of line in junk removal. I mean, I've been doing this 15 years and never in my mind would I ever thought of that we steep that low into the junk removal industry to start asking for tips in junk removal. Like, you know what? If you're going to do that, um, why don't you stop hiding behind your little your your little machine why don't you stop hiding behind your machine if you're gonna ask for a tip ask for a tip walk up to the customer hey your bill's 350 dollars. would you like to tip me now and hand, hold your hand out instead of going and, and and showing the machine oh here you go sir and then fronting them out like that you know what i mean you're fronting out the customer dude if you're gonna ask him for a tip with your computer stop being a pussy walk up to him and, and charge him the 400 bucks and then ask for a tip mouth to mouth, face to face, ask them if that's what you're going to do, but stop hiding behind this thing. We're in the junk removal industry. We make a good money doing this, but now I'm seeing junk removal companies. They, they, they issue out these tips for the employees. Dude, I hate it when I go to a coffee shop and they ask for me for a tip. Excuse me. Is the barista getting paid two fifteen an hour? No, they're getting paid 10 or 15 bucks an hour. People that ask for a tip should deserve a tip because um, they're in that industry. That's what I meant to say. So 
people who are getting paid two dollars and fifteen cents, like valet, uh, waitresses, they deserve a tip. Now, let me tell you what happened. I'm in a restaurant and the bill was like eighty-four dollars, and I'm looking through the bill. No, it was eighty dollars. It was eighty seventy-nine bucks, seventy-nine bucks. And I'm looking at the bill, and I have a hundred-dollar bill, like a hundred, a clear one hundred-dollar bill, and. The bill comes in, it's 80, 79, 90, something like that. And I look at the, 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 I'm reading the bill and it says, kitchen love, $3.50. What the fuck is that? What is kitchen love? I'm going to have to show the kitchen some love? So the waitress comes in and I said, hey, what is this on my bill? It says kitchen love. She goes, oh, it goes straight to the kitchen. And I said, well, take it off my bill. I don't, I don't, I don't want to tip the kitchen. They're doing a job. How about if the food came out shitty and I didn't just didn't want to say nothing? And I'm still going to show them some love. Fuck the kitchen. I don't care about the kitchen. And, and this is straight up. I'm just being honest. I told her to take it off. And I said, here, here's a $100 bill. Take it off my bill and keep the rest of the chain. So she went up to the front and she said, hey, take this off the bill. Because those $3.50 are going in her pocket. I am frustrating with having to go to a coffee shop. Having to go to a, 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 a small little dinky dink bagel shop and them asking for a tip. You know what I've been doing? And I'll be honest with you, to eliminate that, I don't pay with my debit card, I always pay cash. I'm just tired of people asking for tips. So imagine, you get tired of asking, of, of, people, of, of, of businesses asking you for a tip, and then you turn around and you're doing it right to them with this junk removal service. So if you're a junk removal owner, and you're tired of people asking you for a tip, and you're not, oh, you, maybe you're not tired, right? Maybe you're not tired, you just don't do it. You just think as another, you, when they hand you the tablet where it says, you know, 55 bucks, would you like to live a tap? But you said no. Maybe it doesn't bother you, okay? Maybe it doesn't bother you, but you're not tipping? Fuck, what, what, dude, but you're, you're gonna sit there and do it to somebody else? As a junk removal owner, you should know that we're making good money. And honestly, what is going to be the difference of an additional 5 or $10? Is it going to, whoa, now you can afford that Corvette? Whoa, now you can pull up in your H1 Hummer? What, what, what is it? What's going on here in, in the junk removal industry? Listen, I think it's, out of, it's, it's just out of line. So I was reading this article, um, and it's on Load Up, some crazy company right here. And it was just showing uh, this stuff about how to ask for a tip. Uh, how much should you tip your junk removal um, haulers? So it gives reasons why to tip them, right? Uh, and it doesn't look great on my screen for some reason. Let me, let, me, let me hold myself right here. Oops, I disappeared. Let me hold myself. Okay, let me see if I can move this to the other side. Okay, there it is. Um, if, if, let me get that right there, okay. Tip for junk removal companies, are they doing a better job? Okay, what are some of the items? I saw this article, it was pretty funny. It said, do you have stairs? Uh, are, is there a parking issue? Are they walking really far? Uh, is the AC hot and broken in the house so you deserve a better tip because you're working in this heat? Um, are they going up the stairs? You know, is there an elevator? Um, these are issues that people are going to have that maybe the junk removal companies deserve a better tip. Um, and, and these are really good ones. I never would have thought of all these. Is it storming outside and you're still removing their junk? Okay, that's true. Um, is, is it hard to access? I mean, there's a lot of places where it's hard to access where you have to walk down narrow hallways or you got to go and put the code in. It, it, the accessibility really sucks. Uh, are there any time constraints? Are you working with the customer's timing? Uh, oh, I only got 30 minutes. Can you come in and, and do this junk removal? You know? Let me, I'm trying to open it up a little bit more. Okay. Uh, there, so there they are. Uh, <clears throat> um, do you have a lot of items that are soiled? Are they dirty? Are they bag bug infested? Are, some of the items that they're picking up can really harm the employees uh, in junk removal. Do they deserve a better tip? Um, are the items big? Are they heavy? Only men can pick it up. Do they deserve a tip for that? Uh, hey, the junk removal company just showed up and, and they were requiring special tools, equipment that I didn't really consider they would use, okay? Uh, are they breaking down items? Are they taking them apart? Are they using the saw saw? Again, using equipment. Does the hauler have to take a ferry to get to the, what the hell is that? Who cares about that? Um, oh, is the hauler moving furniture so you can get the upright out of the way? Is he moving furniture so, you know, so he can get the, um, 
the other couch out of the way and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Are, are these real reasons why we deserve a better tip? I mean, think about what what this company load up did you know what i mean they made an issue hey this is why you should tip and load up did this and they put it on their website it says this is why you should tip your junk removal companies and what i think about that is fuck load up man you know what guys if you're gonna ask for tips i just hope that you go to that coffee shop and every time they ask you for a tip you better tip them i hope you're a tip master i hope you're the tip Jedi of, you know, all your Yoda-ness. I don't know, man. I'm just thinking, asking for a tip in, in, in junk removal is kind of pitiful, dude. I mean, come on, you got to be doing something uh, that's not right when you're asking for a tip, you know. And I saw this and I said, you know what, I, I'm just going to get a little passionate about it and talk about it. Um, if you're in junk removal and you're new to this business, don't do this. Don't do this. This is this is ridiculous. That's why we get paid the good money to do junk removal, guys. And stay positive about your junk removal service, guys. Don't be uh, all negative uh, and saying, oh, he, Ricardo's saying this. I shouldn't get tipped for a service that I did. Dude, I'm just telling you, imagine how you feel when you go to that, you know, self-service cone where they give you ice cream or, and then they ask for a tip when it's their job to give you ice cream. They're not valet. They're not a uh, waitress and they're sitting there getting paid $15 an hour and then they want more money by asking you for a tip. Like the restaurant that said Kitchen Love. Uh, fuck that kitchen, man. I wasn't going to tip them. I, why would I ever tip a restaurant's kitchen crew? They were getting paid and those kitchen crews, they make like $25, $30 an hour. They get paid and then now we're going to give them more money? Nah. It's this generation of people, man. That's how they think. Anyway, guys, uh, stay positive in your junk removal service. Uh, keep on working hard. It will pay off soon enough. I know there's a lot of people struggling in junk removal right now, and that's one of the reasons I you know, designed the Junk Removal University is one of these reasons. If you're having questions and you don't have anybody answer them, try out my course. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.